Okay, what's up, team? Oh, let's practice together. Okay, uh, determine the hybridization of the central atom of this one of these molecules. Okay, all right, let's start with the first one, methane. We talked about earlier, right? So carbon right here uh, is an sp3. Well, how do you know that? How do you know that? You count things around it, like atoms and lone pair, right? So this carbon need uh, one orbital, two, three, and four, four orbitals total. This guy, this guy, totally sp3 hybridized. Okay, uh, carbon in ethylene. This guy, this guy here. Now count what? How many things around it? So one, two, and three. So s orbital, p orbital, p orbital. So an s p two. Okay. Now uh, oxygen in water. All right. So count how many things around it? One, two, three, and four. This guy gonna need four new orbitals. Okay. So s p three hybridized. And lastly, in acet uh, carbon in acetylene, one and two, only two new orbitals, so just an sp. Okay. If I ask you what's uh, what is the molecular geometry and bond angle? Okay. So <clears throat> sp sp three hybridized so four orbitals. The best geometry that minimizes electron repulsion is trigonal trigonal no tetrahedral. Come on, uh, tetrahedral hedral, and the bond angle is one hundred nine point five. Okay, uh, for an sp2, so we have three electron groups, right? So three electron groups. You can see it right here. Um, the uh, the best geometry is gonna be trigonal planar, and the bond angle is gonna be one uh, about one twenty, okay, degrees. All right, in in the case of uh, oxygen in water, so four electron groups, right? Four electron groups. The best structure is gonna be geometry. So be geometry. No, the best structure is going to be tetrahedral. Okay, but think about this: our eyes cannot really, can can see the lone pair. Oh no, no, can't see the lone pair right here, right? So it is not going to be a tetrahedral. It's going to be bent. We can we can see this. We can we can see only the the bond right here. This is bent. Okay. If you ask me about bond angle, it's going to be less than one hundred nine point five because of the lone pair right here push. The uh the bond between oxygen and hydrogen downward. Okay, this this angle here is supposed to be 109.5 because this tetrahedral, right? I mean the uh, electronic geometry is tetrahedral, but because if I push down, going to be less than less than 109.5. Okay, that's <clears throat> all right. Last one. Uh, this one easy. So uh, sp hybridization. Um, two electron groups. The best geometry is linear and the bond angle. I'm sure you guys know it's uh, 180 degrees. Okay. All right. One more time right here. So this use a bond line structure. So uh, identify the hybridization and geometry, whether or not they are a tetrahedral, trigonal planar, bent, linear, or trigonal pyramidal. Okay. Approximate bond angle. I'm sure you know that. Oh, let's try first one right here. And that's an sp3 hybridized for sure. So carbon one bond and three hydrogen on it. That's sp3. You get tetrahedral 109.5. Next, this guy right here. Um, this is an sp2. So one bond, two bond, and then one hydrogen. So three things around it. So sp2. Right. The other p orbital is used to form a pi bond right there. Okay. So it's gonna be uh, uh, sp2 hybridized, and the uh, um, geometry is gonna be trigonal planar. Okay. All right. Moving on. This guy. This this also an sp3. All right. So one one bond, two bond, two hydrogen. So four bonds total. All right. So sp3 and the geometry is gonna be tetrahedral. One hundred nine point five. All right. All right. Next one. This guy right here. This is linear. You can say this is linear. Okay. So how many things around it? One and two. All right. So one carbon, two carbon. The hybridization is gonna be S, sp. And the geometry is going to be linear, okay, one uh, 180 degrees angle, all right? And lastly, this guy, just like this guy right here, same thing, sp3, tetrahedral, 109.5. All right, moving on, <clears throat> this guy right here, okay, this guy right here. So um, how many things around it? One, two, and three. This is an sp2 hybridized and uh, trigonal planar, okay? So 120, 120 uh, degree, degrees. Let's do that oxygen there. Watch out, this oxygen have two lone pair. All right. So how many things around it? One, two, and two lone pair. Three and four. That's an sp3. And the uh, geometry is bent. Okay. Of course, the electronic geometry is tetrahedral, but we can't see uh, the the lone pair. All we can see is just the bond. Right. Just the bond. So that's a bent. Um, and the bond angle is going to be less than 109.5 because the lone pair pushed the two bonds down downward. 
okay? La, uh, next one, so carbon in the middle right there. How many things around it? One, two, and three, sp2. Okay, trigonal plane now. And uh, the last one, this guy just like that and like that. Same thing there, sp3, tetrahedral, 109.5. Okay. All right, go back to our uh, fun segment in our podcast. All right, auto correct. Let's see what's going on in here. Now, right, two person, first person said, Are you working on Saturday? Yeah, and I got asked to do Playboy too. I'm going to do it because I need the money. <laughs> you are not posing for Playboy over my dead body, Kathleen. <laughs> oh, that's her mom. Uh, oh, oh, wait until your father hears this. Oh my God, mom, I wrote overtime, not Playboy. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go to the next video.